going to take our viewers now uh, straight back to Hyderabad House where uh, Narendra Modi is currently meeting uh, the, 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 the leader from Maldives right now. The bilateral meetings are well underway. Uh, we'll return to our story on the cabinet portfolios in just a minute. If we could just pull up those pictures live from Hyderabad House. Uh, we'll have those on your screen in just a moment of those pictures from Hyderabad House where Narendra Modi is meeting the president of Maldives. Those bilateral meetings, eight in all, uh, will, be, will be complete by about one o'clock just before lunch. Remember, at 12 o'clock is when Narendra Modi will be meeting Nawaz Sharif. Here you have it, the pictures of Narendra Modi, Modi meeting with the president of of Maldives. Great amount of importance being given to each one of these meetings. Well, absolutely. While great amount of importance is being given in theory shift to all of these meetings with the eight heads of state, uh, you know, the all eyes really set on that crucial meeting with Nawaz Sharif uh, slated for noon. Narendra Modi along with Sushma Swaraj member reached the Hyderabad house early this morning while Nawaz Sharif was at the Jama Masjid offering prayers. We're learning that he is in fact back at his hotel as we speak and is likely uh, to arrive at Hyderabad house in noon. The capital really should at this point in time been converted into a complete fortress. Uh, everything is being sanitized. There is heavy security deployment. Those are pictures on your screen of Narendra Modi uh, at in fact uh, the Hyderabad house. Well, we're joined by both uh, uh, Maha Siddiqui, a foreign affairs correspondent who is at Hyderabad House. Also, uh, Gaurav Savant, our editor of Strategic Affairs. Both of them have been at the forefront of reporting uh, this, this, this very important diplomatic story, uh, the bilateral outreach by Narendra Modi and the, and the government on day one of its functioning. Huge amount of attention being paid to it, Gaurav and Maha. Uh, Maha, if I could come to you first, quickly give us a roundup of the latest, the, the, the meeting with Hamid Karzai is complete. Any word on what happened? No word exactly from inside uh, as to what transpired between Narendra Modi and Hamid Karzai, but we do know that the Indian side was uh, uh, naturally concerned about the attack on the Indian consulate in Herat, and that would have been uh, one of the important issues that would have come up. The issue of security of Indian assets and uh, personnel in Afghanistan was one of the crucial points that at least the Ministry of External Officials uh, wanted uh, should come up between the two leaders. At the moment, uh, the Maldives president meeting uh, Narendra Modi inside Hyderabad House. We understand that uh, these meetings, as I was pointing out earlier, uh, shipped to both you and Rishika, that these are not being seen as uh, meetings where any commitments can be drawn. However, we understand that uh, the issue of uh, China building bases against India in uh, Maldives and the issue of GMR could perhaps also be taken up in this meeting. Right, absolutely. Also, editor of Strategic Affairs Gaurav Savant is joining us live. Uh, Gaurav, take us through, you know, what is on the table at some of these very crucial meetings. We know that we're according equal importance to all, but definitely all eyes set on that crucial meeting slated with the Pakistani Prime Minister at noon today. Well, our sources in the Pakistan High Commission have told us that Pakistan's Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif does not want to go back empty-handed. He does not want this to be just a photo op. Uh, at Rashtrapati Bhavan, he wants to take back something that he can sell back to his country, especially the army and terrorists like Hafiz Mohammed Saeed. He's made a statement by coming here, but he wants to go back in part that he hasn't, it hasn't been a face loss for Pakistan. He wants a commitment on resumption of bilateral talks. Uh, the framework, he says, he leaves it to Government of India to decide. If Government of India is not very comfortable, if Prime Minister Narendra Modi is not very comfortable with the old format of composite dialogue, he is willing to explore any other avenue. If the Prime Minister wants to talk about any particular issue, he is very happy to talk about that particular issue. If the Prime Minister of India wants to talk about terror first, he is very happy to talk about terror first and take all the issues subsequently from his side he's promised uh, a speedier trial for 26 11 from his side he's also promising the most favored nation treaty as soon as the indian prime minister either comes to islamabad or they meet uh, anywhere right. else they, just the talks need to resume okay. is what pakistan wants to take away from here